The greatest Cardinals in franchise history are being honored this weekend at Bush Stadium. Bob Gibson and Lou Brock provided endless memories for fans, but for some, the men were more than Hall of Fame baseball players. They were husbands, fathers, and sons. News 4's Brooke Grimsley spoke with Lou Brock Jr. ahead of this very special weekend, Brooke. Well, it's hard to believe that it's been almost a year that we lost sweet Lou Brock. In a story that you'll only see here on News 4, Lou Brock Jr. met with me ahead of tonight's game honoring his father. And Lou Jr. has a special message that he wants Cardinal Nation to know. Cardinals are a uh, first-class organization. And for them to honor my father in this manner, I just thinking that my father would be so pleased and I'm looking forward to it. It was almost a year ago, September 6, that the world and Cardinal Nation lost one of its brightest souls. While Lou Brock is gone, he's forever enshrined in the Baseball and Cardinals Hall of Fame. It was at a young age that Lou Brock Jr. realized. I have to tell you a story that actually showed me the impact that he had around the world. That his dad wasn't just his hero, but others as well. In Tokyo, you know, you, if you hear the English language, you naturally go up there and, and introduce yourself and talk. And there were some people from the Netherlands that were speaking English. And so when we exchanged where everybody was from and, say, and St. Louis, Missouri came up, they said, oh, Anheuser-Busch and Lou Brock. I mean, that's what they knew about St. Louis. And, you know, that gave me a whole new perspective on the impact that my father had on, on, on the world. Lou Brock Jr. can't come to Bush Stadium without seeing a friend of his dad's. A few steps behind the base burglar is a statue of Bob Gibson, who died not long after Brock last year. The two were not just longtime teammates. I mean, they were thick as thieves, but then you had the base burglar, right? <laughs> they were also longtime friends. Brock's fame for stealing bases grew game by game, and Gibson, known as Gibby and Hoot, gained fame for his prowess on the mound. Here's the pitch, and it's a strike called! A no-hitter for Gibson! Those are times that I don't know will ever be duplicated. You know, having a Lou Brock and a Bob Gibson and being uh, coached by a Red Shandies and... I mean, Cardinal Nation is so fortunate to have not only the good players, but the, the good human beings. Nearly a year after losing his hero. Emotionally, you know, our father, my father and granddad left a hole in our lives. Lou Brock Jr. relishes on this moment in Cardinals history under the lights at Bush Stadium. The great Lou Brock, we remember him tonight at Bush Stadium. And as the Cardinals' story and history continues to grow and new legends are made, Lou Brock Jr. wants all Redbird fans near and far to remember this. St. Louis has been such a great place. In fact, one of the things I want to do is I want to just thank St. Louis for the relationship that they had with my father during his lifetime. And believe me, St. Louis, my father loved you as much as you loved him. And I want to thank everybody in St. Louis for the relationship that you had with my father. Mm -hmm. Such a special message there at the end. I mean, mm -hmm. Lou Brock definitely touched so many lives, and I had the pleasure of meeting him right before he had passed away Incredible. with his last birthday celebration. And everybody had talked about the big smile and uh -huh. how it lights yeah. up the room, and it truly did. We were outside, <laughs> and it still it was captivating. It's all I could look at, and he truly was an amazing man. He was captivating on the field. He did things the right way, mm -hmm. and as his son said, he is just an overall great guy that St. Louis surely misses for yes. sure. A name that will always be synonymous with the city. Brooke, mm -hmm. thank you. Here's what's coming up.